double check it. I think I'm going to do the kitty cat first. Kitty on the top, looking in a puddle and sees himself as a tiger. I just love this one. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this. And I haven't really seen any clear instructions where you, you should start at the bottom, on the left, or the bottom, on the right, or the top. But I think if you're working here and you're going to have to pull it down, it's going to hang. So I think for me, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. So we're going to start over here in the upper left-hand corner. Let me get a little kit ready. Okay, here's my tool kit. My wax. Come out there, little wax. Oh, that feels, feels funny. Okay, so got to load the tool. So let's just put a little in there. Fill it up. I'm going to snip a corner of this. Put them in this little baggie, so I know this is my color. That's, that's the little number that was on the bag. And I'm going to put it in my little Ziploc. Yep, there it goes. Now I have the number in there. So I'm going to put a few of these out here. So you're supposed to shake these around until they all... That's amazing. All the little flat backs are in the back. What I gotta do is I'm gonna peel this back. You see it? It's right on the end. Well, it's kind of hard to see. But anywho, let's see how this works. Well, there you go. There is the first six. Can you see them? The next of this color is way down here. So, get, pick one up. And then go way down here. I'm not sure how long this is supposed to take. But I do know it's a whole lot quicker than actual cross stitch. All right, so I'm going to do a little more of this and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we've completed the um, number 19. So, the next color we're going to do is, we're going to start up here again, is the three. Number three, number three, and I've already put them in the bag, my little marker. So we're going to get started on those and see how that works. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish these threes up here in this section, and I'll be back in a minute. Anyway, the next one we're going to do is number nine. The symbol is A. So, let's shake them up. Tap them even. Going to go in this next area, which is right in here, with the A. And I'm going to start way over here on the inside, work myself out.
So I'm going to work on the next drill and uh, see what number I want to start with, and I'll be right back. Check it. Okay, next color here is number 18. The symbol is M. I'm having a lot of trouble showing this to you, and I don't know why. All right, symbol is M, and that's going to take quite a bit of this in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do these. Go ahead and go ahead. I'm going to get the M's done, and then I'll be back. We're just going to process this right through. Okay, I'm back with a little update, and so far I've got this section right here done. See that? So, what we're going to do now, we're going to work on the next section. Hold that down there, and we're going to start over here to the left and move the right. And the first number is going to be number five. And I redid my beads. I was able to pick up a couple of these. Oops, make sure they're closed. I put that tag that I showed you in the Ziploc. I taped it to the front here so it has my symbol. Got the color number. Again, we're going to number five. Pop it open. you in there. Well, we're back with another update. As you can see, I got this next section complete. Let me turn it around so he's right side up for you. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, wanted to give you an update. I have got a little over one half of this done. And I'm very pleased with the way this is coming out. Let me turn it around so you can see right side up. And I got a little present today. Um, it is a, what do you call them, a light pad. So I'm going to turn this on so you can see the difference. Look at that. Nice and bright. You can see everything so well. Let me zoom in so you can, can you see. Yeah, look at that. All right, that's what it looks like with with the light mat. It's a light mat, not a light bar. And then I turn it off. And I turn it off. There it goes. You can still see it pretty good when it's close up like that, but when you're looking at the pattern, it is a little difficult. But this light pad is fabulous. So I'm getting ready to start on the next row. So let me zoom out a bit. I'll turn my pad back on, brighten it up. We're going to move out a bit. And we are going to start over here on the left. My needle down. Got to keep it covered. And we're going to do this little section right over here. I'm going to be back. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with what I'm doing here. We're going to finish this section off. And when I get over here to the end, I'll come back and we'll finish up this section up together. Back in a bit. I have been trying to figure out how to use this tool to my best advantage. It holds six diamonds. I 
whatever I was doing, I think there was an issue with the glue in that spot. But I'm not positive. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we'll be back and finish the tiger. Be back in a bit. Alright everybody, we're back. I'm putting the finishing few diamonds on this project. I've had a lot of fun working with it. It is officially complete. What do you think? I think he turned out beautiful. I love it. Again, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Probably get a frame, and when I get it all ready to go, I'll pop in and let you see it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, because I sure have. Something new to me, and I think I'm going to love it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you feel like doing so. If you have, thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Thank you. More to come.